Live from Fayetteville, this is your Razorback Nation Report, powered by your Central Arkansas Honda dealers. We have gotten better during the week of practice. Now the key is to make sure that that shows up Saturday. Arkansas head football coach Bobby Petrino talked to the media today for the last time before Saturday's big game hosting Florida. More on that tonight at 10 o'clock. As for Florida, you know, I don't know if Arkansas could have picked a worse time to play the Gators. And it's not just quarterback Tim Tebow that wants to take out frustrations on Arkansas. The Hogs need to beware of receiver Percy Harvin, possibly the single most talented player Arkansas will face all season. Speed quick and fast. I mean, he can fly, you know, he's got great quickness, moves out and out, not moves in and out and stuff, but, you know, he's, he's got great vertical speed. He is in a lot of different places, and they do use him in a lot of different ways, but once you find out when he is on the field, they have certain packages they deal with him, and so it's really, it really helped us focus on the little things with him in the game. Harvin is the second leading receiver in the SEC, third leading scorer, but the Gators' offense have struggled a little bit lately. Most believe it's the Florida defense that the Hogs should be worried about. No, they're going to blitz you. They're going to they're gonna, um, play a lot of man free, and then they're going to zone blitz you. Good defense, fast defense. They fly around, make plays. And, you know, we just have to go out, execute, you know, and our fundamentals are going to have to come into play. We're going to have to go out there and play well and, you know, not make a lot of mistakes. We expect a lot of blitzes from Florida. You know, every team is going to bring something new to us, and they're just a very – they're big up front, physical and fast, so – we just got a little, little different kind of project this week. One of the big problems for Arkansas so far this season have been big mistakes at costly times. Well, all the time, really. For Arkansas to win this Saturday, Florida has to be the team making those mistakes. And they're not, they're, they're not immune to mistakes either. Just check the last game tape. We did miss some open receivers, but that's part of the game. We dropped a couple passes, which is part of the game. Uh, it's not part of a team that's leading the league in offense or, or one of the best in the country. So um, those, are, those are mistakes that happen that, uh, that uh, you've got to deal with and correct. Game time, 11.30 in the a.m. Saturday morning from Razorback Stadium. Talking Henderson State football now with some national news for Malvern native Nick Finley. Nick has been named to the 2008 All-State All American Football Coaches Association Good Works team. In order to make the team, Finley had to be involved with a charitable organization, be in good standings academically. Finley was the only player from the state of Arkansas to be named to the team. Congratulations to Nick. Finally, let's check in with Pine Bluff native Tory Hunter in action last night. Had a ribby for his Angels, but LA lost in the playoffs. Game one of the playoffs to the Red Sox. Tonight at 10 o'clock, guys, we'll hear more from head coach Bobby Petrino. And things just not getting any easier for the Razorbacks, Bob. Florida looks pretty good. Yeah, you know, Florida's Florida right now. And it's one of those things, too, that, well, it'll get better. <laughs> I like the optimism. 24 and a half points is your spread. And uh, we'll talk more about it tonight at 10. All right, Aaron. Thanks very much.